The question is from the following trial balance of Messrs. Radha and Sons as on 31st March 2016 prepare trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet. In the adjustments, we have closing stock which is outstanding bad debt, provision for doubtful debts at, uh, to be 5%. Rent is paid for 11 months. Insurance premium is paid per annum ended 31st March 2016. Loan from the bank was taken on October 1, 2015. Provide depreciation and machinery at 10% and furniture at 5%. And I will explain the adjustments while we are doing the adjustments. Now we have to start with credit side of the trading account that is by sales that is rupees 1,000, 1,55,000 rupees. That is rupees 1,55,000. Then your closing stock rupees 64,000 being an adjustment will be shown under the head current assets and balance sheets asset side. Next one is in the debt side to opening stock rupees 42,000 to purchases rupees 62,600 less returns outward that is rupees 1600 and in the final column we will have rupees 18,000 and to carriage inwards rupees 1200 then comes your wages rupees 4000 and we have adjustment number 2 wages outstanding 2400 hence wages will be increased by wages outstanding rupees 2400 by adding it to wages add wages outstanding rupees 2400 and the total wages in the final column will be rupees 6400 next is our factory expenses being power to power rupees 6000 then credit side totaling is rupees 2,19,000 write it in the debit side and find out the difference to gross profit carried down rupees 82,400 and in the profit and loss account we will have a buy gross profit brought down that is rupees 82,400 then our other items are to insurance rupees 3600 here the adjustment number 6 tells us insurance premium is paid per annum per year ended 31st May 2016. We are paying per year and it is ending on 31st May 2016 and our year ending is 31st March 2016. Hence April and May 2 months is prepaid. Prepaid rent is for 2 months. Prepaid insurance is for 2 months. And the total amount of insurance is rupees 3600. Hence, monthly will be divided by 12. Rupees 3600 divided by 12. And prepayment is for 2 months for the month of April and May into 2. That will be prepaid insurance. I will show you the calculation also. See, less unexpired insurance 600 how come rupees 3600 divided by 12 into 2 and in the final column we will have rupees 3000 next one being to rent rupees 22000 rent is paid for 11 months one month is outstanding obviously it is fifth adjustment rent is paid for 11 months rupees 22000 divided by 11 that will be rupees 2000 per month one month's rent has not been paid. That is our outstanding rent rupees 2000. And in the final column, we will have 24,000 annual rent. And this unexpired insurance is an asset. It will be shown in the current assets. And outstanding rent is a liability. It will be shown under the head current liabilities in the balance sheet. Next one being to outstanding interest on bank loan. You see, it is telling us the adjustment is telling us in seventh point from loan from the bank was taken on 1st October 2015. 1st October 2015 till today that is 31st March 2016 is half year, 6 months. Hence we have not paid the interest on loan. 
to outstanding interest on bank loan that is rupees 25000 into 8% the rate of interest on the loan is given to be 8% you see the trial balance and that is the fourth last item that is 8% bank loan that is 25000 into 8% into 6 by 12 that is rupees 1000 that is outstanding interest on bank loan it will be sojan sonas and current liabilities in the balance sheet balance sheet's liability side next is your salary rupees 15000 to depreciation on machinery machinery is having a book value of 50000 and you uh, have 10% depreciation on machinery as given in the last adjustment number 7 provide depreciation on machinery at the rate of 10% and on furniture 5% it is rupees 50,000 into 10% that is rupees 5,000 furniture rupees 14,000 into 5% that is 700 and total in the final column rupees 5,700 next one is being to bad debts bad debt is given to us rupees 600 and this is there in this adjustment that is adjustment number three there is no bad debt in the trial balance this is called further bad debt to be 600 and provide for doubtful debts to be provision for doubtful debts to be five percent we have to see the debtors then our debtors are given as the third last item in the trial balance rupees 20,600 this 20,600 less bad debt in the adjustment which is further bad debt or additional bad debt or bad debt after closing of our accounts 600 that is 20,000 minus 600 that is rupees 20,000 into 5 percent that is rupees 1000 that is add new provision for bad debts rupees 20,600 is the debtors this 600 just above this is known as additional bad debt or further bad debt or bad debt found out after closing up accounts rupees 600 whole into 5 percent that is rupees 1000 the totaling is rupees 1600 now the totaling in the credit side will be rupees 82400 take it to the debit side and deduct all items to find out net profit carried down to net profit carried down rupees 32100 and this is the Profit which will be added to the capital account. Next is your balance sheet. Balance sheet as at 31st March 2016. We have to start from the asset side. It is always better convenient. That is, current assets cash in hand rupees 1500, debtors rupees 20,600, less further bad debt, additional bad debt, or bad debt written off, or bad debt after closing of accounts that is rupees 600 then we got 20,000 rupees and new provision less new provision provided this 20,000 into 5 percent that is rupees 1000 in the final column we will have rupees 19,000 next one in the asset side closing stock rupees 64,000 prepaid insurance rupees 3600 into 2 by 12 2 months you understood that two months that is it is paid up to 31st March 31st May 2016 April May two months excess and this insurance premium rupees 3600 is paid for the whole year that is by 12 into 2 that is two months extra that is prepaid because year ending is 31st March 2016 that is 600 next one being fixed assets that is machinery rupees 50,000 less adjustment depreciation at the rate of 10 percent which is to be shown twice once in profit and loss account we have shown in the debit side as an expenditure now a deduction that is rupees 5,000 in the final column rupees 45,000 next one is furniture rupees 14,000 less depreciation in the adjustment rupees uh, at the rate of five percent rupees 700 in the final column rupees 13,300 now totaling is rupees 1,43,400 in the liability side current liabilities 
फर्स्ट वन बी इंटरेस्ट आउटस्टैंडिंग ऑन लोन रुपीज थाउजेंड क्रेडिटर्स रुपीज एटीन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड रेंट आउटस्टैंडिंग रुपीज टू थाउजेंड वेजेस आउटस्टैंडिंग रुपीज ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड लॉन्ग टर्म लाइबिलिटीज एंड कैपिटल दैट इज एट परसेंट बैंक लोन रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड कैपिटल रुपीज एटी थाउजेंड लेस ड्रॉइंग्स रुपीज एटीन थाउजेंड एड नेट प्रॉफिट रुपीज थर्टी टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड इन द फाइनल कलम वी विल हैव रुपीज नाइंटी फोर थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड द टोटलिंग इज वन लाख फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड व्हिच इज द फाइनल आंसर